Hi there, and welcome to the Wellness Soldier's Cannabis class. My name is Cody Lindsay from the Wellness Soldier, and today we're going to be taking a look at what is cannabis sativa. Cannabis sativa was first discovered as hemp, a high-growing industrial variety of the cannabis sativa plant. Hemp has been cultivated by humans for thousands of years and can be used for textiles, food, fiber, building materials, paper, medical treatments, and can even be used as biofuel. Hemp is grown specifically with THC levels less than 0.3%. When mankind discovered fire, we discovered a controlled method to burning herbs and incense for inhalation. This is when we discovered the hidden secrets of the cannabis sativa plant. The term cannabis, or marijuana as some of us know it, is used when describing a cannabis sativa hemp plant that is bred for its potent resinous glands known as trichomes, which contain high amounts of THC. And THC stands for tetrahydrocannabinol. So what is THC, you might be asking? Well, THC is the main psychoactive or mind-altering chemical found in marijuana, responsible for most of its intoxicating effects. The THC chemical is found on the resin produced by the leaves and buds primarily of the female cannabis plant. The plant also contains more than 500 other chemicals, including over 100 compounds that are chemically related to THC, called cannabinoids. Another popular cannabinoid that's been getting a lot of research lately is cannabidiol, also known as CBD. As this cannabinoid is known to produce non-psychoactive effects and has been found to affect the body and produces a calming effect making it useful in the treatment of stress-related disorders, pain-related injuries, and sleep loss. Our body has what is known as an endocannabinoid system which is a group of endogenous cannabinoid receptors located in your brain and throughout your central and peripheral nervous system. So when you eat smoke, vaporize, or use cannabis topically, the cannabinoids run through your endocannabinoid system to your cannabinoid receptors. Our endocannabinoid system is involved in a variety of psychological processes, including mediating the psychoactive effects of the cannabis. So this brings us to the end of our first cannabis class. I hope you enjoyed yourself, but we're not leaving off too early. You are leaving with homework today. Your homework is to investigate some of the other cannabinoids that are found in cannabis and use the comment section below to start a discussion. I hope you enjoyed this cannabis class and if you want to have more, uh, please subscribe to our channel and follow us on all of our social media, Twitter at Wellness Soldier, uh, Instagram The Wellness Soldier, and our website is thewellnesssoldier.com. Thank you for joining me and have a nice day.